Dr. Zarazawa. Dr. Zarazawa, can you please give your side of the story and tell us what happened? Well, I remember it. 1954. I remember hearing the reports about it. About a monster just breathing when people set fire or something from its mouth. And the pain and destruction it was causing to Japan. I heard all the stories. I was in disbelievement of what I was hearing. That's when the government came to you, asking you to willingly be able to help them with creating more oxygen destroyers. Is this correct? Willingly? Well, they asked, but I wouldn't say well, how it went. It would be a willingly conversation, to say the least. You see, with the vice that you have, you could be able to help protect Japan from anything that decides to threaten it. You'd be doing a great service for your country. So, are you willing to help us? I, I wish I could, but my answer is no. This is something that cannot be given to the public. My apologies. Have a good day. No, don't worry. I understand. You have a good day as well. Thank you for understanding. But I do find it odd, though. You were going to the uh, docks and that. You weren't driving home, as you said. I just don't understand why that was the case. Something just seems a little off. What are you trying to say? What are you trying to get at? <laughs> trying to get at? That you're trying to make an escape. You're trying to get rid of the one thing that could actually protect this country. And I'm not allowing you to do that. Maybe that's also because it's in the back of your trunk. So you're trying to hide something that could help us. Help everyone. Help your citizens. And all of that. For that, that's traitor seat. So Dr. Ishii Zarazawa, I place you under arrest. You'll be removed. This is crazy. What the hell are you doing? You don't understand what you're messing you with. This is a this weapon that you shouldn't mess with. That. Listen to me. Of course, they didn't listen to me decided to tell the public about the auction destroyer, but he decided not to tell anyone about the truth. Instead, a new guy made it, Yoshi Watanabe, a young scientist, one who didn't understand the destroyer fully. I don't know what it could be, and follow Dr. Zarazawa's plans fully. All of his plans, to the little pieces in that, I followed it, but yet it, it, caused, the Osaka, it caused the Osaka incident. Everyone's telling me it isn't my fault, and I didn't kill those people, but yet, I missed something. I mean, if it didn't kill the thing we were trying to kill, and it only killed the citizens, then it was a failure, it was a bust. The deaths are on my hands, and I killed them. There's nothing I can do to make it right. Colonel, if you don't mind me asking, what was Dr. Wentanabe referring to about the Osaka incident? Do you care to tell me what he was referring to? I can. What he's talking about is there was one time in Osaka a monster appeared. The monster was named Ellie Kane and it caused a rampage. We got the alert and we decided to test out the oxygen missile. A newly designed device that is empowered by the oxygen missile. We launched the missile and... It was supposed to kill, it didn't kill. Ellie King was still left standing. The monster caused a big rampage. <laughs> Dr. Wintanabe did not take it kindly. He couldn't deal with what happened. He told us all goodbye and we never heard from him. I don't know what fully happened, but there were theories that he's just gone. And I blame myself for what happened. If only we tested it out more than Dr. Wentanabe would still be alive. I do blame myself. We 
you use the blueprints. The blueprints I told you not to use. I told you not to use the oxygen destroyer. It was a mistake. It should have never been created. And yet, why didn't you come back, huh? You could have came back and actually fixed it, but no, you decided to go play father in America, huh? So what does that say about you, doctor? What does that say about you? Well, clearly, Alzheimer's must be going into your brain because, did you forget? You kicked me out of Japan. You got rid of me. So how the hell was I supposed to come back and stop oh, you, huh? you've got to be kidding me. So many people snuck back into Japan easily and all that. What you are right now, doctor, what you're being is a complete and other mother- ENOUGH! It seems like we're getting a little hostile in here. I cannot allow that in this courtroom. We will settle this tomorrow. I want you both back here. 10 a.m. sharp. I don't want any excuses. Do you understand me? Yes. Serizawa? Yeah. I understand. Good. I'll see you boys tomorrow. And we'll handle this like men.